Mental health is a tremendously important topic for me. I've met many so-called high performers that have suffered at times, including myself. You keep seeing us in, on TV uh, in a glamorous environment and cheering and successful, but the truth is we're all having our up and downs. And it's not only like a little down, but it can be really difficult at times over a prolonged period. I see my role and my obligation to talk about it and support any good initiative. Stress can come with various faces. Stress can be a positive factor if uh, channeled and conditioned in the right way. I like the stress over a race weekend, for example, because I love what I do. But stress can also be a burden and be something that actually makes you struggle if it's negative or if it's over a long period. And I have seen it with myself, with the excessive traveling or the constant pressure in the job, that sometimes I need to take myself out. What works for me is not taking myself out in a state of uh, complete relaxation, but rather focus my mind on uh, different things. I like doing sports. I like to learn uh, new things, uh, whether it is in sport or languages or about a new topic. This helps me to really concentrate on this one new thing and takes my mind off from the daily struggles in the sport. And that can have various degrees, whether you just talk to someone that mentors you or whether you talk to a professional, a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I've made great um, experiences with um, cognitive behavioral therapy, for example. It's just fascinating to learn about your thoughts and how you can change the pattern thereof. But everybody will feel um, and try to their own way, but I think it is important to realize that uh, only if we feel good, our environment is going to feel good about us. Most important is to get rid of the stigma that comes with mental health. The truth is I suffer in a different way maybe to others, but suffering means not being well like many other people. And uh, in that respect, I've always looked for professional help, uh, which gave me much more tools um, uh, to understand and to combat. Don't think that people that you see on TV or that apparently seem to have everything uh, that they are free of mental health problems. On the contrary, many of them are being driven by these things. And I think struggling with mental health means having more sensitivity than others. And more sensitivity is actually a superpower. So for me, you're a superhero if you have that. It certainly gave me great strengths and advantages in my, li my life. And I'd rather be a little bit down or down at times to experience the highs. You don't want to be down the middle. So see it as an advantage that this uh, makes you introspect more and it's going to make your life better, I'm sure, even if at times it seems unbearable. For me, what works well to decompress and de-stress or simply uh, feel better is not the traditional uh, Zen meditation or uh, just uh, sitting on a beach, but it's more, it's more about doing things that uh, need my full focus, my concentration, and I love doing sports and learn new tasks, but also look a little bit beyond our microcosmos. I'm, I'm into finance, I like to read about the markets, I learn about sustainability and the possibilities that we have in Formula One, so many other things that can interest me and where I need to fully concentrate, because this is also very similar to meditation, where I just allow your thoughts flowing through your brain and just letting them go. The more you learn about yourself, the more introspection you can do, the more you realize where you are in the world, what your goals and objectives are, the more you will actually be able to spend time with yourself and analyze where you want to go, uh, what makes you struggle, what makes you cheer, and what drives you. And for me, that has always been a great adventure to explore my mind and my soul in order to understand better for the future where I want to be and where I want to go.